Last week, Minister Jordan flagged Guyanese for crying foul over the lack of job opportunities when foreign nationals are coming here and getting jobs. I've seen Venezuelans, I've seen Cubans, I've seen Brazilians, I've seen Nigerians, I've seen Haitians now getting jobs. India, a country that supposedly don't have jobs. Or you hear a lot of young people say they ain't got jobs. But I'm not speaking like right? you have. Uh, Haitian carpenters, uh, yeah, Brazilian carpenters, plumbers, and all these kinds of story. So there must be jobs. The question is whether the job is paying what you want it to pay. For these people, yes. For some people, and some of the natives, no. However, this statement did not go down well with Jack Dio when asked about the minister's utterance at his weekly press conference on Wednesday. I hope the TUC here is that that we must undercut Guyanese who are working. So I hope you, well, this is shocking to me. I didn't realize he actually said that, that he is saying that bringing in immigrants here, it would, because they work for cheaper, will be beneficial to the economy so that they can undercut Guyanese laborers because they work for less wages than they do. So our people must not get employment or they must lower their wages to match those of the immigrants who are coming into work. According to the opposition leader, this position by a senior government minister is especially shocking. If this is the justification of this government, then I don't know. It's shocking for me personally because I thought our aim is to first of all Look out for our people, Guyanese, our Guyanese, and to ensure that progressively they get better paying jobs and more jobs. Better paying jobs, not to try to bring in people to undercut their salaries. This is a shocking revelation to me. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to deal with that further because this is unbelievable. The, the, do these people think before they speak what they want for Guyana. Recent figures by the International Labour Organization estimate youth unemployment in Guyana to be almost 23%. Reporting for the Evening News, Vanu Manakchand.